Could this be the cheapest key cutting machine known to man? I don't know. Let's find out. The key cutting machine that I'm talking about is the Lishi Cutter. Now, I guess it's more of a key cutter, like a handheld key cutter. However, I'm gonna show you how you can duplicate a SC1 key with this little cutter. Now, duplicating an SC1 key with this cutter is not really the ideal method or the most professional method to do so. However, it can be done fairly easily. So, is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this leashy cutter here and I'm gonna use a fine tip Sharpie marker and together, we're gonna duplicate an SC1 key and try it with this tool here. Let's get started. All right, so I went ahead and I have the key that I want to duplicate right here. I went ahead and grabbed a blank key, and then I'm gonna be using this uh, Sharpie fine uh, point marker, as you can see right here. Let me zoom it in, you can see. So that that's it right there, okay? Now is what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this, uh, the blank key, and I'm gonna take the um, key I wanna duplicate, and I'm just gonna put it down here, I'm gonna line it up on the shoulder and just kinda hold it just like that, okay? Oop, put the key on the wrong side. And once I have it like this, I'm just going to literally just copy, trace this key, okay? Now I'm gonna do this blank spot up top here, and you wanna make sure you do that blank spot because that's gonna show you where your Sharpie line's gonna be for each depth, okay? And I'm just kinda of holding it at the same angle and kinda of going through. Now, like I said, this is not a preferred way to duplicate a key, okay? I'm not definitely recommending that at all. However, doing this shows the versatility um, and the usefulness of the Lishi cutter. So, um, let me go through back through each one here, and there we go. Okay, let's take a look and see what it looks like. All right, so after you trace the key, this is what it's gonna look like, all right? Let me uh, focus it there. So you're gonna be able to see all the different cuts here. All you're really concerned about is the root, you know, the base of each one of these different depths, all right? This last one here, we're missing a little bit at the end, but we, we have everything we need to cut the key. Now, we're gonna use these leashy um, cutters here, this leashy cutter. It's essentially a pair of like pliers that cuts a key at the end of it. So as you can see here, here's the little cutter uh, right here. There's some different lines on it. Um, it's a pretty handy little tool here. And you just open and close and it just punches out the key. So as what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna bring this key up uh, just like this. And we're gonna start cutting each one of these depths. Now, this is about a good foot plus away from my face here. So before I cut it, you're gonna see me kind of bring it up kind of like this to make sure I'm aligning it properly when I cut it here. Cause I mean, we don't have a lot of uh, room for uh, tolerance on this because these are, you know, pretty, pretty tight locks, so to speak. So go to this next one here. All right. Here's the next. That one, go right here at the end. Okay, let's kind of take a look at it here. And it's looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and uh, try it. Um, the only one that maybe uh, might need to go a little deeper could be this, you know, third cut in here. But let's try it out and see how it works. Oh, so it doesn't quite work yet. Let's take a look here. Um, once again, we'll close, and I think we're going to take a little bit more off that number three. Trying just to get a little there. All right, so we got that, and let's try it. Maybe the number one cut may have to do a little bit too, but let's just try it and see. Nothing yet. Let's go to the first one here. like that let's take a look here there we go and it's turning so now is this the best way to duplicate a key no um, is it a way I recommend to do it no but it really shows you um, how versatile these this leashy cutter can actually be now before we're done here um, it's important if you look up top here you can see all these different spikes from the different um, depths here. Um, so we just wanna go ahead and just hit those, all right? Those are like thorns in the pocket, so we want to get rid of those, all right? So there we go. 
All right, so that is how you duplicate a key with the Lishi cutter. And that is how you have a little bit of fun and duplicate a key with the Lishi cutter. I'd love to know, how do you use this Lishi cutter? Please put it in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.